Okay, now we're live. Hi everyone, this is Andrea from Verbling.com and this is an English listening and speaking class. Today we will watch some funny YouTube videos and we will talk about them. You will listen to what people are saying and you'll describe what you heard, describe what you saw. So it's a good class for descriptions and it's a good, pla a good class to work on listening to different English accents and trying to um, understand what people are saying. Um, today I have four video clips and they are from a TV show, an American TV show, and it's a show called Frasier. Uh, it was very popular in the 90s um, and early 2000s, so it's not on the air anymore, but it's a funny show, and there are funny things that happen, and there are some people with uh, different accents in it, too, so we'll identify different um, accents of English, um, and we'll try to um, understand what they're saying. Um, and we will, there are there are uh, funny things that happen in each video, so you can uh, remember things better if something makes you laugh. So we'll be doing those today. Uh, we'll get started very soon. I don't know why my camera is not working. Um, can you guys see my video at all, or is it my picture? No, uh, your camera. Ah, there we go. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. It's really strange. Okay, so let's say hi to everybody. Let's say hi to Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Welcome back. Hi, Andrea. Hi again. Yeah. Done a lot of returning. Second round. <laughs> second round. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we have Musa in his second round too. Hi, Musa. Hi. Hi again. Hi. Hi. And um, now we have both of our Ali's again. <laughs> hi, Ali. Uh, hi, Andrea. Hi, Ali. Ali. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome again. You're welcome <laughs> okay. again. So we, that's how we will tell the difference today, guys. So we have Ali. And then the with the picture of himself, and then the picture with the, the little castle-looking things. That's Ali Ali. So one has two Ali's, one has one Ali. That's hard to say. <laughs> but that's how we will tell you guys apart. Okay. And we have Kishan. Hi, Kishan. Hi, Andrea. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great. Great. We have Alberto. Hi, Alberto. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You're back on your normal account. Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Sure. Good. <laughs> and we also have Elias. Hi, Elias. I think Elias is maybe loading right now. Elias, when you have everything loaded, you can turn on your microphone and say hi. It's weird. Okay. Uh, well, welcome to class, everybody. Today we'll be watching some funny videos on YouTube. Um, there is a YouTube app, but I won't use it today because I always have problems with it. So <laughs> I was with connection problems with people, and not everybody can see the movie, and it's not so good. So I'll be giving you some links. Um, if uh, if you were looking at the class earlier, there were some links in the class description. So I have four videos. Uh, maybe you watched them before. Maybe you've seen them in the show. Um, all of the clips today are from an American sitcom. Uh, what kind of a show is a sitcom? Funny. Some, huh? some funny uh, short uh, TV. Yeah. Program, yeah, funny short TV. Um, sitcom is short for situation comedy. So it's a little, it's a show, it's um, usually not too long, maybe only like half an hour long, so in the, a shorter time slot. And it's uh, just a funny little show for, for entertainment, and um, usually there's some kind of a funny situation in it. Um, so I like, uh, I don't like all sitcoms. I think a lot of them are really stupid. But I really like this one. This one is called Frasier. Has anyone ever seen anything with this show, Frasier? Yes. Uh -huh. You've seen it? Uh, yes, uh, two brother psychologists. Uh-huh. Yes, exactly. Uh-huh. Uh, I was watching. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, there are two brothers. Uh, one of them, his name is Frasier. He's the title role. We call that the title role. The person whose name is the same name as the title of the show. So Frasier is one. Ali, do you know the name of the brother? Uh, Niles. Niles. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. 
So you'll see Frazier, he's, Frazier is in all of them. He has a brother named Niles. Uh, Niles is in a couple of the clips for today. Not all of them, though. But Frazier's in all of them, and they're both psychologists. They both um, help people. Um, do you guys, uh, Ali, do you know um, what, uh, where Frazier works? He's a psychologist, but he doesn't have, like, a regular psychologist job. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, I think, a different uh, episode. Uh, uh, he did uh, something uh, different work, maybe. <laughs> I remember uh, okay. in one episode, uh, he was uh, doing a, a radio program. Yeah, that's his main job. So, so Frazier's job, he's on the radio. He's a radio psychologist. So people call. It's like my advice column class where people say, "I need to help. I need you to help me with my problem. I have a problem with my life, or with my work, or with my my husband or wife." And then he gives them advice on the radio. So that's his job. Um, so he does things like that. Um, but the situations today don't really have anything to do with their work. It's just some funny things that happen to them both. Um, so I, before each clip, I will go over a few um, words, a few slang words that you can listen for. Uh, we'll talk about what they mean, so that will help you to understand what is going on. Uh, let's see, which one should we do first? Okay, we have a short one first. If you watched the the links before class, which yeah, is fine if you didn't, um, we, the one called conspiracy is the one we'll start with first. Um, can tell, can someone tell me what a conspiracy is? I think Alberto might know. I think you've used that word before. Yes, yes it's like in Spanish, more or less. Uh -huh. It's a plot. Yeah, it's a plot, a plot? between yeah. uh, some people who want to, uh, who want to, I don't know, but uh, to to give up uh, a government, for example, or yeah. to. Yeah. That's a, a real conspiracy, but uh, uh -huh. it would be a, I, I don't know, but a private conspiracy between your friends or in sure. your job or in, it's where well, I don't know when when uh, when all the people is uh, against you or uh, yeah more or less yeah? uh huh uh huh yeah it's some some kind of a plan some kind of a plot. Uh, there are conspiracies against the government in some cases where you, people are planning to do something to hurt the government. Uh, there's also conspiracies with friends, too. Like maybe your group of friends has a conspiracy to do something to another person in the group. So it's like it's like a bad plan, a plan to, to hurt something or to damage something. So this is a, that's the title of this, this video, Conspiracy. A uh, couple words for you before we watch it. Um, there's a word, it's an adjective, and it is sloppy. This is a little bit informal. Has anyone heard this word before? Sloppy? No. It's a, it, the word like it is messy. Not perfect. Sometimes uh, people say, um, you did a sloppy job. That means you did not do your job very well. You, um, you made mistakes and you did not fix them. It was not perfect. It was very not very much imperfect. So sloppy is kind of like messy, um, imperfect, um, not paying attention to details. So maybe you if you uh, if you're at work, you're doing something very quickly. You you have a lot of mistakes. You um, all the details are not correct. It's kind of sloppy. It's it's not very it's not very um, it's not perfect it's uh, not very well done. So we talk in this they will talk about somebody who was sloppy in their job. They they made mistakes. Yeah yeah sloppy dirty yeah yeah they this is a the, in the video we'll be talk they'll be talking about it with the work with the job. So somebody did a sloppy job with something. And then one more word before we start. Customs. So thinking customs at the airport. When you go to another country, you have to go through customs. What happens when you go through customs? 
the police uh, watch uh, all your suitcases mm -hmm. and uh, ask uh, you for the passport, for example. Yeah. yeah, that you go to another country, they have to check your passport, and then you also have to, to um, fill out a form and you say, like, I brought these things with me from this country. Uh, for example, when I went to the United States from the Netherlands, I brought um, two lip bulbs, little flower seeds for my family, and they went through customs. They had to check them and make sure that they were okay. So uh, there are certain things that you can't bring through customs. Um, uh, usually they worry a lot about plants. Uh, you don't want to bring uh, plants or animals from the other country um, in case there is uh, some kind of a, an infection or a parasite. But um, so customs in general, so when you go to another country and they check what you brought with you. So uh, this person, these people are talking about going through customs as well. Um, so those are the, the, the words that, that I thought might be unfamiliar. There's another phrase in there, but we will um, look at that. Oh, you guys can talk right now. Okay, uh, yeah, we will um, talk about more of the words after we watch the video. But just uh, listen for the word sloppy and how they use customs, going through customs at the airport. Um, okay, so let's go here. Yes. So uh, as you watch the video, I want you to think about where the video is, where does it take place, where are they, and uh, what are they talking about, and um, also some emotional words too. There are some, some uh, emotions that you'll see in some of the people. What, how are they feeling in this video? Uh, so try to think of a few things that you can tell me about the video, and then we'll talk about it. Um, so I'm going to give you the link in the Verbling chat. Here it is. So you can open it in your own browser. When you're done watching it, just write me a message in the chat. Just say, I'm done, so that I know everyone's done. When everyone is finished, we will talk about it. So go ahead. You can open it up, and we'll uh, just let me know when you're done.
Okay. Elias, are you back? Hello. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Hi, good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. We just um we just watched uh, the the first link in the Verbling chat. Um if you have time you can watch it, but we'll start we'll go ahead and start talking about it. So this is a about a little bit of a conspiracy. Uh, Natalie, can you tell me something about the video? Yeah, right. Um, I, I, I saw those. Uh, I see two people. I'm sorry, I was speaking in Spanish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw two people. Um, they're they're wearing the lift in the elevator. Mm -hmm. Lift um, or elevator? Uh -huh. An elevator. Um, I think they were making fun of people uh, there, no? Because they start to speak about uh, the. First thing that they were talking about, uh, uh -huh. she said that she was uh, someone was uh, following her uh, last night. Yeah, she was. She night. was worried that someone was following her. Uh huh. Yeah. Then he he just said uh, he was like, no, don't worry, no one is going to recognize you with all those surgeries you just do D or something like Plastic that. Plastic surgery. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Changing um, your face, changing your body. Yeah. Anyway, and I I don't want to say everything because I I, I know that everyone wants to speak here. Okay. But it was funny. Yeah, this no? is, it was funny. Yeah, yeah. This is a short one, so maybe um, a few of you will talk about this one, and then the next one we'll have more people talk about it. I'm not sure if we have yeah. all seven. If all seven of you talk about this, we might run out of things. But yeah, it's two people in an elevator, and uh, an elevator. Yeah, we use that word in elevator in U.S. English and U.K. They say lift. Yeah, yeah. the lift is there. That was funny. It was funny the first part, and then when the man came, you know, was almost more. It was really funny because he was okay. What they, they what he was saying about uh, the comps. How do you say it? They call cosmos. Cos cosmos? Customs. Customs. Uh, how do, how do you how you say that? How did you avoid avoid them? How did just how did how did you get through customs? How get were you to, how you were yeah. able to to go through? Yeah. How did you get through? As he said, they wouldn't they wouldn't uh, look in for what they don't like or something anything like that. But oh, like, okay. <laughs> yeah, he said something. He said something about how he got through customs. We'll see if maybe um someone else caught that part at the end. Yeah, because I couldn't yeah. I couldn't get that part, but I was okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. and that's okay if you don't get everything, guys. Um, this is um. This, these are people talking um, a little bit fast too. So uh, if you didn't get a hundred percent of everything, that's okay. But together we can get all of it. Okay, good, good. Uh, Musa, can you tell me something else about the video? Musa. Later. Okay. Kishan, tell me something else about the video. Uh, yes, um, there was a uh, two person in elevator, and uh, they were trying to scare the third, the third uh, who came, who came, uh, who came, who came late, who came at last in uh, elevator, and mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, but uh, honestly, uh, I, uh, I cannot uh, explain you. Uh, on what uh, on what topic they was uh, trying to scare her, but uh, okay. uh, they was uh, yeah they they uh, they just uh, want to scare by um, uh, I don't know uh, I I cannot get the exact idea. Okay okay so, okay they're they are trying to scare people. That's you are on to something there. Yeah they're they're in an elevator. Yeah. They're trying to they're working together to try to scare the people that come mm -hmm. in the elevator. Yeah. And they and they look scared too. Their their eyes get really big, and they think, "What are you saying? What are you talking about?" Yeah. So I wonder what, how, what, what exactly are they trying to to do to scare them? I wonder maybe they're trying to act like a certain kind of person, like they have a certain kind of job. Yeah, I think that has something to do the government in the first part, no? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, she was a spy or something like that. Yes. She was to to be yes. not recognized for that. Yeah, she was, yeah. They, they, they're, she, they're, she speak about she spoke about shocks or something. So 
You know? Yeah. yeah, so they're they're trying to pretend like they are spies, like they're from the government and they have these secret missions, they have to get information and they can't get caught and they're nervous. If someone followed me, I think they know that I'm a spy. So they're yeah. they're talking like they're spies <laughs> to make people scared. They're not spies, they're just regular people, but they're playing a joke on people in the elevator. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, um, Ali, uh, did you catch the end of that? When he was going through customs? Yes, uh, they uh, tried to save uh, other people. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was funny, a woman uh, ran away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she's she left very quickly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, after uh, uh, one uh, uh, game, uh, she said it's not it's not uh, nice. Uh, we uh, stop. Uh, we must stop, stop it. Uh, don't uh, do any anymore. Maybe. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, let, we, sh we shouldn't do this anymore. It's mean. It's not very nice to scare <laughs> yes. people. Yes. And uh, uh, they can't stop they, themselves. I kind of addicted. <laughs> they... Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. They're like, it's like they're addicted to, to doing this. It's fun for them. They yes, can't uh, stop. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, a man came uh, get, uh, in the elevator. Uh -huh. And uh, they tried to save uh, him. Uh, uh -huh. uh, they talk about uh, some stuff uh, uh, in the custom. Mm -hmm. He asked uh, you take uh, our stuff, uh, maybe. Uh, and uh, he said, no, I, I don't take or I wouldn't. Ah, he, he got things through customs, but he had a, a trick. He said he did something so that he could get some things through customs when he went to a new country. Maybe they had some weapons or some kind of chemicals that were not allowed, but he was successful in getting them through customs. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Did anyone catch the very, very end? How did you get that through customs? But I don't know. I just think like maybe he put it in some place that they he they don't it. want to yeah. to to be. You know, they don't yeah. they don't wanna they don't want to to check. Yeah, he, <laughs> so he put he it in they, in a certain place. Yeah. A wooden play, a uh, wooden light or something. A wooden like leg. That. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A leg yeah. made out of wood. Ah, wooden yeah. Leg. yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I understood a wooden light. Yeah, then oh, <laughs> I didn't okay, know okay. what a uh, wooden light is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but wooden, wooden leg. Light is... So he pretended he, yeah, yeah, he's. Yeah, yeah, he I had he's yeah. the the actual character, the real person in the show, does not have a wooden leg. But yeah, yeah, he said, yeah. I yeah. I got all these things through customs. Yeah. I put them in a wooden leg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, they're they're totally just making these stories up. They're they're not true <laughs> at all. But. It's, it's from the wooden leg. <laughs> yes. So if they're playing some jokes on people. Um, I also might call that a prank. It's a. It's not a joke. That it's not like. Uh, why did the chicken rock cross the road? It's not like a question and answer joke. It's an actual joke that you play on people, and um, you really make them think that they're in a certain situation. So here they're making people think that they are spies. <laughs> it's fun. So, uh, what accents, what kind of English accents did you guys hear today? Yeah, she was speaking with English accent. Yeah, she had a, she had more of a British accent, a UK yeah, accent. I yeah, think, yeah, London, London accent, accent, I think. Yeah, yeah, in the, um, in the show, she's supposed to be from Manchester, England. Uh, yes, uh, I remember. She's a cleaning lady, right? Yeah, she she's um she's uh, actually um what uh, we call assist, a assistant. Maybe. Yeah, she's like an assistant. Uh huh. Yeah. The the old man in the, with the wooden leg in the video. Um, she is his physical therapist in the show. Um, this isn't something you get from the video from that video, but she's a physical therapist. She helps the old man with um with his hip. He he got shot. Uh, someone shot him while he was working as a policeman, and so he needs a physical therapist. 
So she lives in the house, she cleans, and she also does the therapy with him. So that's her job, and she lives with him and Frasier, the main character, who was not in this video. Yeah, so she's, she's from the UK, she's a physical therapist, so her accent is different than the others. The others are just American. Yeah. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, play, play a prank on someone is how we say that. Instead of just play prank, play a prank on someone. Okay, uh, anything else? Other, other observations from the video for anyone? Yeah, I have a question, Andrea. Okay. Yeah, it's not the regarding video. This is a general question. Yeah, I want to ask you that is, I am sorry. I'm very comfortable uh, when when you speak English. I can easily understand. Or on, 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 on um, there are many other verbing teachers, which is easy to understand. But uh, in this video, their pronunciation is totally different, and I was trying to uh, trying to get them, but. Uh, uh, it looks like it's very difficult to catch them. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So, uh, so what is the reason? Uh, what is the I I cannot um, I cannot. Um, what is the basic difference? I uh, I don't know. Okay. The basic difference. Um, I talk a little bit slower when I teach. Um, so the speed is one thing. Another difference is uh, their accents. The the woman the woman in the video is from from the UK. So she will sound different, um, and then also the in this in this sitcom they're they're acting, and so they have a lot of emotion. So sometimes if someone um, if someone's laughing a lot or if they feel a lot of emotion, it changes their pronunciation a little bit. So that can be more difficult to understand as well. Yes, we can understand uh, you or other teacher, but uh, we uh, watching when we watching a movie or. Uh, TV show, it's difficult to understand. Probably. Yeah, yeah, is it's it's a little bit different accents. Um, they will speak a little bit, um, um, a little bit faster as well. Yeah. So uh, when I teach, I I try to speak really clearly. I don't speak so much slower than I normally do. Like for example, if I'm talking to another American, I talk a little bit faster than this, but not too much faster. So. Uh, depend, yeah, depends on the where they're from, what what kind of accent. Even in the U.S., we have different accents um, in the same country. But you don't speak like another teacher that they speak like we are in idiots, you know. What do you <laughs> say? This is you don't speak like another another teacher that they speak like we are an idiot. They speak so slow that I think oh. okay, it's not. It's not that case. I, I understand there sure. are people who need to uh, uh, speak it slow, but I think that's extremely, you know, this is too much. Okay. Yeah, like a, hello, everyone, hi, yeah. how are you? Oh, my God, what's that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those classes are so beginner. boring. <laughs> yeah. Yes, those classes really, really boring. I, I just uh -huh. start uh, that class and start, okay, I don't, I don't get that. I don't understand why they speak in that. That way, even for for intermediate or beginner, you you know that this class is intermediate, so you you need to be a little you know faster. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I, I like this those classes with you because you are really clear, and I think that that's good for for everyone. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. good for for uh, pronunciation as well. As well. Uh huh. Uh, I think uh, uh, in the class uh, usually every level uh, students uh, have in the class maybe. Some teacher because of that uh, 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 speaking very slow. Maybe. Yeah, I when I do beginner classes, I do I slow down a little bit, but I don't I don't do it too slow. Otherwise, uh, it's hard to it's it's hard to listen to it if it's too slow, even if you're a beginner. And then that helps you to to really listen and to to um, to know how native speakers talk because if you slow down too much, that will change a lot of the pronunciation. Yeah, no yeah. one outside is going to speak with you like that. You yeah, know? no yeah. one is going to say hello. Are you okay? Are you understand me? <laughs> no one is going yeah. to say that. So yeah, it's yeah. good when when you speak. Uh, even if you don't have uh, the same level, because there are people uh, we don't have that. You know, we, yeah. I, I know that my English is not perfect. I am here with that for that. You know, uh -huh. but uh, it's helping me because. Because I, I can get what you're saying when I am I, I am outside I can get that as well you know uh -huh. 
Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I'm learning get... Dutch, and my um, my Dutch teacher, like every time she said anything, I was like, okay, I'm, I get it, it's good, and I'd walk out of class, and I'd feel really good about myself, and then someone would ask me for directions on the street, and I'd be like, I don't know what you just said. <laughs> they talk too fast sometimes, so the I think the speed really, the speed and how much they articulate too. Sometimes um, in in all in a lot of languages. People will just um, run words together, and in my pronunciation class, we talk about like when do you link words? How do you? How can you put words together? And sometimes people do that with all words, yeah, and then it's hard to find what. Wh where are the words in that? <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, there are just certain. Sometimes there are just certain ways that in certain accents that are just very difficult to understand. And there's still there are still some um, some accents in the Netherlands in Dutch. That I have a really difficult time with, so it can depend on the person. It can depend on the region that they're from, and how fast they talk, how much they articulate, too. Yeah, yeah. So with these, if don't feel bad if you watch these videos and you're like, I didn't get half of it. It might just be an accent that you're not familiar with, too. But we'll help you with them and we'll we'll work through them together. Uh, let, oh, we have a new student. Let's say hi to Akka. Hi, Akka. Yes, hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, yes, I'm fine. You can see my video on your picture. This I, yeah, wow. it's strange. <laughs> my avatar didn't appear. Okay. So I don't know my avatar. Yeah. It's so weird, I can like dance uh, in your in your picture. That's, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> Aka, have I had you in a class before? Uh, no, uh, it's the first time uh, for you for me to join your class, so it's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, it's nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Japan. Okay. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice to have you. We we're just uh, we just watched one video, and now we're just talking a little bit about okay. how much to, how much we understand the different accents uh, yeah. in English. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I I've lived in the United States a bit. Uh, ah, a bit where and, where did you uh, live? Uh, yeah. I, uh, Georgia. And Georgia, I, okay, I, okay. At that time, I noticed, you know, I need to familiar to be familiar with native speaker speed. Every talk mm -hmm. talks, you know, <laughs> very yeah, uh, yeah. fast. And sometimes some person doesn't uh, have a clear pronunciation, so it's very difficult to listen yeah, to anyway. Yeah, you I think it's a South. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have southern accent sometimes. I face, I face the I'm southern accent. I'm from Texas, accent. so yeah, yeah we, we do oh, the southern yeah. accent. Yeah. 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 The yeah. university's uh, stuff are okay. Maybe they they pronounce because I'm because I'm a, I'm a foreigner, so uh -huh. they pronounce uh, clearly or a bit okay. slower, but uh, uh -huh. and no direct. But uh, if I see when I see uh, go to the cafeteria, you know, I couldn't understand what stuff saying. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah, I know the feeling <laughs> that happens to me too. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, you're like, what do you want to yeah. eat? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've had experiences like that mm. as well. You you talk to your friend and they know how to talk to you, mm. and then you go you go to eat or something, mm. and then yeah. Like, so wow, what did you just say? Yeah. Not only the classroom, uh, classroom, uh, you know, uh, English, but also the kind of real street English. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, it's yeah. important to listen. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, um, okay, guys, let's uh, let's try another video. Let's see how we do with it. Uh, this is from the same TV show. Um, okay, Elias has a description of what we just watched. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, that's that's the gist of it. Yeah. So the they're acting very mis mischievously. They're acting. They're pretending like they are spies. Okay. Um. Let's see. What should we do? Let's do. Uh, let's do one that doesn't have as much dialogue, but there is some. And we'll we'll do a little bit of description here. This one's a little bit short. Um. Here comes the link. So uh, same thing. When just watch the link in your own browser. And when you're done, just write, I'm done, hit it. So uh, the, this one is a little bit uh, slower with the dialogue. Uh, there's not so much back and forth conversations, but there's a lot of actions to describe in this one. So when you're done, just let me know.
Okay, Elias, are you done? Sure. Okay, good, good. I think everybody, yes, everybody's done. Okay, uh, so we have a, another kind of prank, another kind of practical joke in this one. Uh, lots of actions involved. Uh, let's go to Ali. Ali, tell me something about the video. Yes. Uh, we saw uh, to I saw one people, one uh, person. He uh, he made uh, drinking uh, way to his friend inside the uh, home, mm -hmm. and he uh, he uh, tried to uh, to uh, to feeling them. Uh, he is going to outside. Then he open the door and take his uh, key. Then he mm -hmm. back inside the house, mm -hmm. and then uh, the 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 Joker Joker man Clown. when he's yeah Joker yeah when he when he heard the the alarm uh, his house he got out to open the door when he opened it he found his father or the old man I think he's his father yeah mm -hmm. because yeah. he yeah. because he say. Uh, my dad, my dad, get up, get up, and he's, uh, I think he's died. It just he. It make, uh, he doesn't actually die in this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just only yeah. yeah. But he would maybe the, yeah. Yeah, but in the video he's died. Yeah. But he just yeah. made the uh, drinking uh, or uh, uh, sloppy, sloppy job. It's called sloppy job also. <laughs> sloppy job, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he suddenly make. Uh, Makes the surprise for uh, the old man. He doesn't also that the old man he doesn't fear or he yeah he affair, doesn't fear the shock or the suddenly and he uh, fell the down in the uh, the ground and he going to die I think like that. That's all for my for my. Okay. Yeah, uh, he instead of ground because it's inside, we call that the floor. So the ground is outside and the floor is inside. So you can yeah. say he fell down on the floor. Yeah. The floor, so yeah. this is a sitcom. It's supposed to be very funny. So this character, it looks like maybe he died, but um, in actual, in the actual, in the rest of the show, he doesn't die in that part. Yeah. He just That's is it. like shocked and he just he falls down <laughs> because yeah. of that. But he gets back up eventually. It's okay. But it's hard to tell in that video because the, at the end he's just on the ground, on the floor, on the floor. Okay, okay. So, uh, so there's a, a kind of joke uh, with uh, one guy dressing up like a clown to to scare his father. Yeah, he faint. You, you can say he fainted when you are so scared or surprised at something and you fall down and you you uh, you can say you lose consciousness. That's fainting. Yes. Ali? Yes. Did you have something to say? I heard you say yes. <laughs> no, no, it's just a little bit of consciousness. That's why I say yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Faint, faint me. Yeah, faint, lose consciousness. Yes. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Hi, Elias. Okay. The old man was frightened to death because of the thoughtless, incessant behavior of his friend. The latter, the latter, deludes him into the house, but the old man was not aware of what was awaiting him. So he fell down out of fear. <laughs> he, yeah. Uh, uh, he fell. He fell down from fear. I would say. From fear. From fear. That's a crazy man, Dr. Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, clowns are scary, man. Sometimes I see, a, when I was little, I thought clowns were, were very, very mm -hmm. scary. Even even um, clowns that were supposed to be very nice for children, I, I never really liked clowns. They can... I don't know. Maybe they they wear too their clothes are too bright, or they they just don't look like a good person. <laughs> so evil evil clowns are freaky. 
maybe the lesson we should draw from this uh, short film or from the, this picture that 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 this kind of tricks should be avoided. Yeah, yeah, could be a good moral, a lesson from that. Yeah, you should you should not play tricks like this, especially on your family members. Yep. Uh, especially, uh, I think all the men or women, all people, you can't, you shouldn't do that. Maybe. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, um, Akka, did you have a, another observation from this video? Oh, yeah, maybe almost same, you know, the observation and, you know, yeah, I really, you know, uh, I was afraid of the, the, uh, what, what happened to the man, but uh, I, you know, I relieved, you know, he, he, won't, he won't die. <laughs> so, no, he yeah, doesn't die in that one. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, this kind of trick sometimes is yeah, dangerous, you know, yeah. to shock the people. You know, maybe it should be avoided. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. better. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's fun, but uh, sometimes it's too shocking. You know. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that that's my observation yeah, mm -hmm. from this video. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. In um in this episode of this show, the Fraser, the guy who dressed like a clown, and his father, his father's name is Martin. They are um playing. They're both playing a lot of of pranks on each other. So the whole episode, one of them plays a prank and then the other one plays a prank and they go back and forth. And then, um, then of course, with this one, the outcome is not good. There's a, a bad ending to it. Um, I forgot what I was going to say about that. They, they play pranks on each other. Um, and this one backfires. Ah, okay. So the... so. Uh, Frazier, you know, surprises his dad. His dad falls down, and he's at first he's kind of like, "Ha ha, I I tricked you," and he's very um, triumphant. I would call that. Like I I I was able to to prank you. I played a joke. It was great. Ha ha. And he says um, one thing. He said he says it kind of fast. He says, "Now who's the fuddy duddy?" Hmm. Huh. So fuddy duddy is a little bit of a slang. Has anyone heard this one before? A fuddy duddy? Uh, no. Fuddy duddy is uh, is like an old person. So uh, sometimes we talk about we call people fuddy duddies if they're acting like really old people. Like I have to go to bed at 8 p.m. I'm such a fuddy duddy. <laughs> I don't want to go out on weekends. I just want to stay in my house all the time. It's, that's uh, how we describe um, it's a it's a negative word uh, for an old person like the, you said you can't use the internet you're so bad at compu computers you're such a fuddy duddy so anything that that like any of the stereotypical old people jokes like you know of course not all old, all old people are fuddy duddies but it's a it's something like you're you're old you don't know how to use technology you don't have very much energy so um, earlier in that episode, the dad called Frazier a fuddy-duddy. So the father says to the son, you're a fuddy-duddy, you're acting like an old man. And then he plays the prank, and now he says, now who's the fuddy-duddy? You're the fuddy-duddy, you're the old man. So that's that joke there, fuddy-duddy. Yes. Okay, other observations from this video. Maybe the, someone can name the thing that the clown was, had in his hand. This type of, of pranks are called uh, heavy pranks in Spanish. Heavy pranks? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, the pranks uh, that are not good, that are too hard, that are too, too shock. Yeah. Ah, okay, people, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if we have a, a word for that kind of prank. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe... Uh, I think usually we call it like a, a scary prank or a prank to scare people. Uh, in Turkish, uh, we say that uh, donkey prank, something like like that. Oh, okay, 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 huh? Yeah, I think we just have prank and then we just add add the adjective. That that's a funny prank or that's a scary prank. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Fraser's like, a, oh, go ahead, Kishan. Yeah, uh, I have an observation. Okay. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, 
in this uh, in, in that video the son was trying to scare his father mm -hmm. but uh, at last uh, yeah i observed that he was scared himself dad get get up dad yeah. get up yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes, and he was trying he, to he scare his father. He ends up being scared, yeah, at the end. But he, but at the, at the end, he uh, he scared himself, and he was he was in doubt what happened to to his dad because he was not. Uh, uh, he thought he may be unconscious and he may be in pain. Uh, so he was not sure what happened to him. So at last, he scared himself. Yeah, so yeah, he did. Scare it, Sometimes it happens that you are trying to scare the other, and um, you, 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 you know, you can say that the game change, or the thing change. Yeah, yes. yeah. Huh? Good, good. Yeah, you, you, you can say that um, the prank backfired. So his target, the person he wanted to scare, was his dad, and he did. He did scare his dad, but then. Frazier, the character, he was, um, he also became scared himself. So the prank backfired. He, he was also scared. He was not the only one scared. Yeah. Yeah, good observation. I like that. He scared himself like a, through this. Prank. Like a jury. More jury. The most I do the cat. <laughs> like a what? They are playing like a cat and mouse. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Cat and mouse. Yeah. <laughs> the one person is, uh, is like. Kind of hunting the other person, trying to catch them. Yeah. See the trap each other. Trapping the other person. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Maybe his uh, father pranked uh, him. Uh, yeah. Are things like that? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> that could be a good prank. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, he is very smart person. Uh huh. And experienced person. Yeah, yeah. That's possible. Uh huh. He that that was the father's prank too. <laughs> He pretends to be dead. It scares the son, and then says, "Ha ha! I got you. I'm not dead." <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's another possibility with that. There's another episode of Frasier where they play. It's uh, Frasier and other people. They all play pranks on each other. The whole episode. And those are, I think, those are the funny, funniest episodes of Frasier. Watching the pranks. There's a funny one with, about Halloween. They try to scare each other on Halloween. The whole episode, and it's really funny. It's like there's a prank, and then the prank is actually in a bigger prank, and then the whole thing is a prank at the end. It's really funny. Okay. Uh, has anybody done, played a prank on someone, or has anyone been the victim of a prank? Yes. Yes? Yeah, me too. <laughs> What happened? Uh, well, I, how, I don't know where can I start. You know? <laughs> I can't start. I got two brothers and they are terrible with me. So. Oh, okay, okay. When you have brothers, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. may have some, some pranks there, yeah. Yeah, everything. Yeah, it's uh -huh. too much. So, yeah. I don't know. I, actually, I can't remember one in particular, but all of them were terrible. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so no. also no. pranks, pranks in your family with your brothers. So, yeah, in in families, it's uh in your house, it's also it's a uh, a good place to play a prank. In the U.S., um, in high school, so right right before you go off to university, uh, when you're like 17 or 18 years old, you're in your last year. Um, a lot of schools have uh, what they call senior prank. So your senior is the last year of high school. And then um, all the people in that graduating class, in the right before they graduate, they play a big prank on the school. Like they, um, what, what are some examples? Um, some schools have like a, a fountain in the middle uh, with all the water and it's very pretty. Sometimes they will put soap in the fountain so there's all these bubbles in the fountain. Um, they do something to uh, to make something out on the, in the school funny looking, or they paint something a different color. Or um, one that I've heard of is they um, they take all these pigs, little animals, and they release pigs on on school, so everybody has to catch the pigs. So those are some examples of some American pranks that people do. I'm not a big prank kind of person, but I like to watch pranks. I think they're funny. <laughs> I don't really play pranks on people, though. I think that's having, that's having, uh, I think, too much, that's having, 
can explain breath of people, a teamwork act, and one of the, that, that we should avoid. We can have fun, but not at the expense of others' feelings. Yeah, yeah, not at the expense of other people's feelings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, and it, yeah, it, it depends on the person's sense of humor, too. Some people love pranks. They think even if someone plays a prank on them, if it's funny, they laugh at it. But some people, their, their feelings get hurt, and then that's not really a good prank to play. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, guys, I need to start my next class. Um, I need to, to uh, switch over to that now. Um, Excuse my me, next... one question, please. Oh, question, yeah. Yeah, uh, could you please uh, read this one? Lost consciousness. Consciousness. Lost consciousness. Con consciousness. 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 Yeah. So first syllable strong. Consciousness. Consciousness. Yeah. 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 Thank so you. right now we are all conscious. We're all awake and we're all talking and thinking. If you lose consciousness, it's like going to sleep. But um, yeah, you, it's like you faint. But you're you're not going to sleep. You you just can't think or do anything at the moment when you faint. Pass out? Pass out. Yeah, that's another one. Pass out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Faint, pass out. I have to brush up my English. <laughs> brush up your English, yeah. <laughs> brush up your English with phrasal verbs. <laughs> pass out, brush up. Good, good. Okay, well, thanks, guys. Uh, my next class is beginner level. Uh, but if you want to work on your spelling and if you think, oh, well, maybe my spelling's a lower level, um, you're welcome to come to that. It's a spell check. Uh, we look at some sentences, and each sentence has one mistake in it, um, as opposed to my intermediate uh, spell check, where we have three or four mistakes in the sentence. That's next. Um, and then I have some more classes uh, this afternoon. So in three hours, I'll have some more intermediate level classes for you guys. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and maybe I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.